What's up, Mortgage Coach community? Dave Savage with Lori Richardson. I'm in Portland, Oregon. And Lori, you're in Denver, Colorado, aren't you? I'm in Denver, Colorado. And I, I heard it was snowing there today. Is that true? I ran in the snow this morning, as a matter of fact. Okay. Yeah, and wasn't it like super hot yesterday? Like it was yeah, like in the 90s? Yeah, like 97 degrees yesterday and 32 this morning. Only in Colorado. Uh, <laughs> only, only in Denver, Colorado. Only in Colorado. I love it. But, well, I love that. So, so Lori, first of all, I want to always thank you for being such a great active leader in the mortgage coach community. Not only do you participate in our YouTube channel and our Facebook group, but you're always giving us ideas to get better. So thank you for that. Oh, happy to do it. We appreciate you so much. Good. Well, thank you for making time for this. I know it's a busy time in the industry. So, so community, this is, this came from a conversation that we had via text over a weekend and, and Lori had a friend in a different state that just needed her help. You know, they were in the middle of getting a transaction and they were confused. Uh, they're, you know, they were having trust issues with their lender. And Lori's, Lori reached out to me and said, Dave, I have a whole new perspective and value of mortgage coach. She goes, I know it from a loan officer's perspective. It makes things faster. It gives me a competitive advantage. But she goes, now, like kind of be on the other side of the transaction where you were like a, an advisor to a friend, you go, I have a new, a new perspective. So why don't you share that? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, all right. I will share my screen. This was kind of an epiphany for me to be totally honest with you. Um, am I sharing the right screen? You are. I okay. see uh, okay. a road with your goals on it. Yep. There you go. Well, you guys know, I just, I had this BFO blinding flash of the obvious, right? And it really occurred to me that as mortgage coaches, right, we spend so much time with our clients understanding at the very beginning what their goals are, uh, what their, um, their dreams are. And if we do it right, we really are getting crystal clear on what their vision is. And we end up in really a, a position of trust with these clients. And as you and I talk all the time, the relationship is key, Dave. And the blinding flash of the obvious for me on this one was really just maybe um, what's the word? Um, having a, a miss with regard to trust as it relates to, we didn't do anything incorrect, but the client just felt like, holy cow. And I'll tell you the story. Um, I brought this slide up just because uh, Jay, you t talk all the time that we need to be the captain of the wealth team. And I think it really, really strikes me that because we work with all of those different people, uh, we really are put in a position of trust and our clients just need a lot of counsel. So as Dave mentioned, uh, you know, when we're looking at, at this from a macro perspective, we see the value as originators in, uh, in mortgage coach all the time. We know it helps uh, the three essentials. I show this to my clients all the time, uh, helps them make smart mortgage decisions by looking at the options, analyzing the total cost of debt and analyzing strategies to reduce the cost of debt. But here's what I learned in this story. So time out, Lori. Time out. Time out. Are you, you said you use that all the time with your clients. Is that what you said? I do. I do. Absolutely. So, so first of all, I want to, I want to applaud you for another thing where you take things from the community and then you make them yours. And I, wow. I remember that about you. So these are some slides. And so these slides, you're not only using these to tell the story, these are like slides from your client presentation. Is that right? right? Our face-to-face -face meeting. Yep, exactly. Swipe and adapt it. I thought they were so, fantastic. Yeah. So guys, think about this. I want to, I mean, she's using these to tell a story and bring this, but she's taken visuals from our community, put them into PowerPoint and then whether she's meeting someone in person and probably right now it's mm -hmm. via Zoom. Yeah. Uh, she's, yeah. This is the in-person meeting of today. Uh, she's, she's using it to help bring value. So anyways, nice job on that. I just wanted to make sure people were connected to that. This is like yeah. your borrower presentation. Yes. Yeah. We get together and do a face to face and we're kind of running through everything that they can expect and explaining not only what our relationship looks like today when we're running numbers and doing their initial transaction, but what it's going to look like in, into the future. And this really helps me set them up, especially number three uh, and, and number two, really for their annual mortgage review, right? When we're going to talk about this a year from now, as things continue to evolve and we'll make sure you're always in the right loan at the right time, this totally sets the stage for that. So I love this slide. Well, I love how you made it yours. Yeah. 
So, well, so here's the thing, and this is what I really, what I, what I really understood after, uh, and I think this slide, you had texted it to me, Dave, and I'm like, oh my gosh, putting two and two together. So I had, I got a referral from uh, a friend who was out of state, a state I was not licensed in. So I reached out to a loan officer who, totally great loan officer, technically proficient, the whole nine yards, knew exactly what he was doing, but he didn't use mortgage coach. So at the end of the day, the client just couldn't see the savings from a kind of from a macro perspective. So I ended up having a, a conversation at the beginning with the client just saying, hey, here's how I would present it. And here's, you know, here's, here's how to look at it from a big picture perspective. But the most important thing, the, the loan officer did a great job coming up with a plan, uh, structuring the loan the right way. He made the same exact recommendation that I would have made. However, the client just couldn't see it because he wasn't using mortgage coach. And this is what really made me reach out to you, Dave, was when he actually got the loan estimate. So, so we get the loan locked. We decide, yep, we're going to press forward. Here's how much you're saving. Here's your break even point. Here's why I really think this is going to help you build your net worth over time. I think everything is fine. I get a call at four o'clock the next morning because it's, there's a two hour time difference between us. And the client thinks that the loan officer basically told him a non-truth because the closing costs were so much higher than he thought because he was looking at the, the loan estimate and not the edge template, right? Uh, looking at the loan estimate, looking at escrows were included in that. He was skipping a payment. Uh, all, you know, all the things that we know as industry, industry professionals have nothing to do with the closing costs, but everything to do with having your loan amount be slightly higher than, than the current loan is. So it really created a lack of trust between the client and the loan officer because they saw this loan estimate and they were like, oh my God, this is not what you told me. And it just really reinforced to me that Edge is such an amazing tool. And if we can, we can be crystal clear. Um, I literally walk through every single client, uh, the difference between, um, you know, I use this one in my face-to-face -face as well, uh, helping them understand most loan officers are gonna give you a loan estimate. That really means nothing. The, the bottom line doesn't even really, isn't really, even really reflective of what you're gonna see at closing, but the edge uh, presentation, your total cost analysis that we're gonna do for you is, and so I'm essentially telling them and just walking them through on a refinance transaction, um, here's your current loan information. Um, here's your, you know, your new loan amount. Here's why you're going to get your escrows uh, refunded back to you. You're going to skip a payment, all those things. And when I'm walking them through all of these details and just explaining uh, escrows, taxes, insurance, all of those things, they often end up leaving that with like, oh, I totally understand it. And there is never a question about their loan amount. There is never a question about what closing costs are because they've been actually able to walk through it with me and there's no lack of trust because they were able to see it. So it really made me realize that Edge is such a powerful tool to be able to make our clients feel like they're on the same page and not create that lack of trust. Does that make sense? It does. So a couple things I want to call out to everybody. When she says Edge, she's talking total cost analysis. So this is the total cost analysis. And, and then I want you to put yourself in the shoes of a family member who gets the good faith estimate or the fee worksheet or the disclosure. And if you did not give the family and you did not walk them through their options and delineate all this with mortgage coach, they really are going to be confused. And now they've claimed the frame. And the frame is, I don't trust you. And the, the frame is, I don't understand this. And now, guys, what else is that costing you? It's costing you time. And in today's market, we don't, we don't, I mean, time is the most rarest commodity. And one of the things I've been hearing, Lori, tell me if you agree with this, is that people say that when I do the total cost analysis, my favorite thing is that it saves me time because I can do it at any hour of the day. For sure. So it's like I can create this. When I interviewed Amber Kovarik, She's like, hey, I can do these refi TCAs at night and then wake up in the morning and people are saying, I want option, you know, I want strategy A or B. Yeah. Yeah. And, then, and then she's not having to have that next conversation where the client doesn't understand it or the client's lost trust. And now she's having to get on more phone calls. Yeah. And guys, these, these are not relationship building calls. These are relationship diminishing Absolutely. calls. Yeah. You know, this is like save the relationship, save the deal calls. Yeah. So. Um, Jeremy said that he thinks for every five minutes in mortgage coach doing a TCA, it's saving him 30 minutes in call it wasted time. I don't know what's your equation. You know, what uh, do you think I the totally time savings agree. is? 
uh, I would say, I probably would say that's, that's about right. In this case, it took me an hour and a half because not only did I have to have the conversation with the client twice, not only once, but twice, but I also had to call the referral source and say, I am so sorry. And here's what happened and here's why and do damage control on that. And ultimately it just, it gives us a black eye and it, it just really made me think we can do a, a total cost analysis literally in less than five minutes, generally speaking. And it does such a great job of, like you said, I can do them at night, I can throw a video on. And by the next morning, everybody is, you know, is on the same page. I'm also finding right now too, that oftentimes I'm not on a refinance specifically, I'm not able to talk to both decision makers on a purchase. I schedule a zoom call. We all meet, we go through the numbers. We're all together on a refinance. I'm usually talking to one or the other. And if I'm talking to the decision maker, oftentimes there's still another spouse that, you know, kind of in the background where it's like, they need to explain all of it. And the total cost analysis just gives me the ability to be able to say, Hey, Dave, we went through all of all of this information. Now you can go back and and share it. Here are the high level points that we touched on, and uh, and I'm I'm seeing that video be watched two or three times, which means those are two or three conversations that I'm not having to have, which is amazing. So stop sharing the screen real quick. Let's let's just debrief real quick and wrap this up because I know you've got another meeting in a few minutes. So two things: one, are you willing to share your the TCA that you just showed, because I know people would like to see an example of a Lori Richardson refi TCA. And two, will you share your slides? Yeah, of course. Okay, guys, so I'll have links to those slides down here. And, and there's nothing more powerful than a customized, personalized total cost analysis during a Zoom conversation with a client, or if you don't have it, but having some slides to do some teaching and visualize what you do, guys, I do recommend it. How much time do you spend going through slides and educating as part of your consultation? Just curious. Uh, on a purchase, we take about 30 minutes to kind of talk through where the market is and their strategies and their goals uh, and talk a little bit about the process and their pre-approval. And on, on a refinance, probably about 15 or 20 minutes just going deep on the edge. And that's where, like I said, I'm saying, I, I typically, I know Jeremy sends the the edge numbers to them with a the video. I actually want to be on the phone with them walking through it. So I can be changing their screen saying, Hey, do you see this? Do you see this? Do you see this using edge live? Um, and, and like I said, that 20 minute phone call, if I do that right up front, I literally can hand it off to my team um, and then run with it. And I don't, I mean, I have my woohoo calls saying, Hey, congratulations, your appraisal, be you know, your house is beautiful. But other than that, I can literally hand it off. And it just really struck me on this one, again, technically proficient, great loan officer, but the communication piece and, and my guess is he will probably implement a uh, mortgage coach now because we kind of talked about it afterwards. And I, and I learned, right. When I refer out a transaction, the first question I'm asking is, Hey, do you use mortgage coach? And if the answer is yes, we're going to keep talking. And if the answer is no, I'm going to say, I'm going to call you back. <laughs> kind of right kidding, kind of not. Right on. No, I, I know. No, all good. So guys, you got to go beyond the transaction and it will save you time. How much, how much, how many loads are you closing on average per month? Um, probably between 25 and we had a light month last month for some uh, some other issues, but probably 25 to 30 is probably a good estimate. So, so that's the other thing, guys. Lori is killing it, uh, closing over 20 transactions a month, but she has time to do it right up front. Have a great conversation, educate the family. It saves time on the back end. Yeah. So, so Lori, I can't thank you enough for being active in the community, for bringing this story. I love your weekend text. I love how you're taking our slides and you're making them yours. So um, really appreciate that. It's called swiping and adapting. Keep them coming. Thank you for doing them. All right. Rock it out. So guys, okay. if you got value from this, give it a like, give it a love, share it with your mortgage friends. And Laura, anything else you want to share before we wrap it up? No, we just appreciate you so much. And all of you in Mortgage Coach Land, I know it's been a challenging time, but we're so grateful to you, Dave, and your team continually giving us better tools to, to communicate with. It's just, I, I don't know how we'd be getting through this time without Edge. I'm telling you that right now. No idea. No idea. Well, we, we love what we do here at Mortgage Coach, and I've got the best job in the world. So you we're do. having fun. I'm having fun. And so, the best uh, clients. You have the best clients, too, I'm pretty sure. I have the best loan officers in America that are part of our community and you are, you are evidence of that. So take care, everybody. Have a great day. Take care.